Hi families, this week in NOVA and in the upcoming weeks, you're going to notice that NOVA asks your child to take out their base 10 blocks. If you have base 10 blocks at home, you're welcome to use these or any other counters that you find. But if you need base 10 blocks, you can go to this website, didax.com, and scroll down and you will see different manipulatives that are free for your child. Right here are base 10 blocks. If your child clicks on the base 10 blocks, they can click and drag to show you an amount when you're practicing. So for example, in Nova, if your child is asked to show 12, they could click and drag 10 and then count on 11, 12. Now, if your child is asked to show 15, you could have them show a 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There are many different manipulatives that you might find helpful when you're working with your child. There are 10 frames, which help organize their counting into arrays, which we will be learning about this week. So your child might notice that it's easier to see a group of five when this row is filled up, and if the entire frame is filled up, then it's easier to see a group of 10. There are many other manipulatives to help your child. You could take out the number board and have them count. Several students need to work on counting. This is one other resource. And then of course there are cubes if you're trying to encourage your child to count in an organized way, which is a big goal of our NOVA lessons this week. You could organize the cubes in a circle and then ask your child how they could line the cubes up to count more carefully. So your child could then click and drag the cubes to show you that they understand how to count in an organized way this week. I hope you enjoy these virtual manipulatives. Have a great week this week and enjoy your learning in NOVA.